everybody, Space Goats here. I had a little uh, little request today uh, on one of the Discord groups that I'm part of, Hash Raptor, and he was asking about how I make my uh, 110 meter boxes and how they wired up. Uh, this video will be part of the 110 volt, and I'll make a quick little video on the two two. Uh, 220, 240, 208. Actually, I guess it'd be 220 or 240, depending on what you want to call it. Box. I have one out in my shed that I use for my mining rigs. That one's wired up just a little bit different, but it's but not really. And I'll explain that in 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 the other video. But in this one, this would be my 110 box. <clears throat> so I use this for testing GPUs, power power pull uh, uh, usage and stuff like that uh, basically it's kind of like a kilowatt but it's a little nicer box personally um, I've gone with uh, the Drock model of them I've been pretty happy with them so far they're fairly accurate um, I, I don't have a certified or a calibrated meter but I do have a couple of different multimeters that I've, I've tested and with them. And that's the wiring diagram. I don't know how well you guys can see this. You have a the, the, the transformer, which is this little ring right here. That actually goes over your power coming in line just stick the line wire through it you attach it to the blue to the blue uh, uh terminals and then that's it on that side the other side you have this one attached to the line coming in across your load and you have the other side attached to the line coming out so this side will be your hot and this side will be your neutral on the on the outlet and that's it i mean it's really simple to hook up you know, you're going to spend more time modifying a box to accept it. Um, here is the box that I use. I picked these up at Lowe's. Forgive the wire thing right now. I just I just gotta I kind of put all this together just so that the video don't last, you know, an hour. Because no one wants to watch an hour long video on when they just wanted real simple information. So but these are boxes that I use. These are uh uh, Carlon boxes uh, from Lowe's. Uh, you got attachment points so you can attach them straight to to a wall if you want to, and that's it. Uh, you could come in and put an actual stop in here on the wire on a cord like this. I tie a knot in it. I pull it down on the box, and it's not coming out. I don't, and it's. I try to make the hole as tight as possible, but yet still be able to pull it through if I need to. That way, no bugs, no critters, no stuff gets in the hole. So, then the lid for this box is right here. Actually, it started out as a flat plate. This technically, I guess, would be like a junction box. But, got a flat plate. I get my old uh, Dremel tool out with a cutoff wheel. And I cut me a square hole. And that's it. I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, on the outlets, you're going to have to cut the ends off to fit down inside the box. On every one of them that I've done so far, I've had to trim them off a little bit. I put a little screw. This is a, like an M3 screw with a little nut on the back side. It holds it in place. It's not going anywhere. I did go ahead and go with the GFI outlet. Not... Because I needed the GF, GFCI outlet, sorry, not not because I needed the outlet, but because I wanted the I wanted these type of uh, uh, connection points. With having braided wire, sometimes the braided wire trying to loop them around the around the screws can be kind of a pain in the butt. These here have a plate inside that when you unscrew it, the plate moves back, and when you tighten it up, the plate moves forward and it locks it in. So I'm able to put these wires and my little pigtail wires for the meter 
side by side in these little holes and they, they lock in fantastic. So I will wire this up and that way you guys can see how it works. Now, the black wire coming from the power, this is your hot. Green wire, of course, is ground. And your white wire is gonna be neutral. So this needs to go over your hot. And let's see, what side do I wanna plug this into? Does it really matter what side? Let me, let me verify this before I... Okay, so I want that side. So what I will do is I will take my hot wire. Let me make sure my screws are all the way out. So we come over here. Let me tighten this one up so it's not rattling. Come over here. Oops. I'm going to loosen this one. So it gets a little bit of tension. The, the, when it get a little tension on it, means it's all the way open. So this wire goes in like this. I use a red one for a hot. It goes in there like that. Give it a little twisty twist. All right, wires in, wires in. That's it for that side. Now, your ground is going to come over to the other side. Let me loosen that up a little bit. A little plate keeps falling down on this one, but not a big deal. The ground goes right here. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. A little twisty twist on that one. Now, let's see. Let's tighten that one. Hmm. My screwdriver is not the best quality screwdriver, and these things are tight. Oh, there it goes. So we loosen this one. Up that one in a hole. Um, we got our other pigtail. It drops in the hole. Now I am hooking this all up before I put the meter in because the way this outlet is, I cannot get to these screws once the meter goes in. So on this particular setup, this all needs to be wired first. Not a big deal. So wires in, wires in, and that's it. Now all I gotta do is put the meter in. Now, eventually what I'd probably do is on my meters, they have a a little uh, little tang on them right here. I've said in one of the other videos, I cut them off. Tang just kind of gets in the way. I'll cut them off and I try to make this hole a little snug anyways. As you can tell, there it goes. And I will run a bead of super glue along these edges to kind of lock this thing into place. Eventually down the road, if I have to change one of these meters out or change this one out, I'll have to take the outlet out because this will be super glued in. Or you just get into a knife, you can cut the super glue, pop the meter out. Not a big deal. But we'll do this. Now this goes over to your blue side. Get my I fix it screwdriver you got to have I fix it I'm gonna loosen these up those goes in there give a little tug make sure they're connected good a little tug we're connected now the red one like I said it's gonna go to the hot side so, that was hooked up. I'm 
and that one's hooked up. And that's it. Pretty simple. So let me let me do a little cable management, I suppose. Just gotta make sure everything is laid in here correctly. So when we get ready to put this inside the box, <clears throat> there's just enough room below the outlet for the knot and this to set down inside this box. I did test fit this before make sure I had the right box it can be a bit of a pain but hopefully if I did my job right maybe just a second here the cord's fighting me Just got to kind of fumble it around a little bit until it uh, everything lines up. And of course, it's going to fight me. We got a fighter. We got a fighter. And like I said, the knot the knot's not the greatest, but I can make it work. transformer is not laying flat that's part of the problem not a lot of room in these little boxes so sometimes you just gotta there it goes so now a couple of screws Oop. wow having problems with the screwdriver today and that's it we have a meter box now what we'll do clean that screen off so it's nice and a little clean go over to the outlet plug it in green light comes on and our meter powers on uh, let's do this let me let me turn my light off so you guys get a little better shot of it and like I said that's a GFI outlet so let me find here we go I got a soldering iron right here. Let me plug this soldering iron in. It don't make any noise. All right, soldering iron's plugged in. Soldering iron is turned on. Here we go. We're pulling 14 watts on the old soldering iron. Three hundred degrees. So if I come over here, I turn the temperature up on the soldering iron. 18 watts turn the siren on up to 400 degrees 28 watts there's 425 and there's four 450 pulling 28 watts on the old siren iron i can come over here and i turn it down let's turn it down to like 200 degrees we're pulling five watts so she appears to be operational now if i come over here since i got a gfi outlet and i hit the test button it just killed power now the meter is still getting power because it's getting power off the hot coming into the box but the outlet itself is dead because the solder iron is still plugged in and there's no power to the solder iron so if i hit the reset Oh, let me unplug it first. Is it going to reset now? Plug it back in. Huh. How does this thing reset? 
There we go. Uh-oh, let it break it. Well, it probably has some way you have to let it set for a minute, maybe to reset it. I'm not sure on this GFI outlet. I haven't ever actually messed with one of these things in a long time, so I'm sure it'll reset in a minute. But anyways, that's the outlet. That's the, the box. So if you guys have any questions, just hit me up on uh, YouTube or Discord or wherever. And, and I hope you guys have sort of enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.